This video is going to be about moles. The word mole is just a very large number, 602 followed by 21 zeros. Or you can write it as 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. This number is also known as Avogadro's constant. It can be written as mole or little n. Let's say you had a one pound coin. If you were to stack them up such that there are mole of one pound coins stacked up, that would reach from the planet Earth to the moon and back two and a half trillion times. If I have a mole of marbles, that means I have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 marbles. What about two moles of cupcakes? That means I have two lots of Avogadro's constant worth of cupcakes. What about if I have 0 0.5 moles of atoms? That means I have 0 0.5 times 6.02 to the power of 23 atoms. Okay, if that makes sense, let's try a question. If there are 18.06 times 10 to the power of 23 sodium atoms, how many moles is that? You should have noticed that 18.06 is the same as 3 lots of 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And we know that 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 is a mole. Therefore, we have 3 lots of moles, so we can say you have 3 moles of sodium atoms. Okay, so we can create an equation from this, in which the number of moles is equal to number of particles divided by Avogadro's constant. Now, a number of particles could be atoms, ions, or molecules. Add this equation to your list of equations. Okay, let's have a go at another question. How many atoms are there in 4.5 moles of magnesium? So we'll start off by writing our equation from before. We know that we have 4.5 moles of magnesium. So we're going to put that into our equation and then rearrange to find number of particles. So rearranging gives us 4.5 moles times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And the answer is 27.09 times 10 to the power of 23 magnesium atoms. Okay, if you're feeling confident, let's try one more question. How many atoms are there in one mole of ammonia? Okay, let's quickly have a look at ammonia and see how many atoms one molecule of ammonia has. So we can see that in one molecule of ammonia, there are four atoms. Now we can use this relationship to answer the question. So if I had 10 molecules of ammonia, that means times that by four, I would have 40 atoms. Now remember, a mole is just a number. So if I said I have one mole of ammonia, that means if I times that by four, I will have four moles of atoms. Finally, we can times this by Avogadro's constant to give us the exact number of atoms. Now this one is another very important equation you should know about. Number of moles is equal to mass in grams divided by relative atomic mass. How many moles are there in 115 grams of sodium? So we can use the formula number of moles is mass over MR. Mass is 115 and the MR of sodium is 23. If you don't know how to find out the MR, you can use the periodic table. When you look at the periodic table for sodium, there are two numbers. The large number is the MR. Now, the reason I say large is because in some periodic tables, it's written at the bottom, whereas in this case, it's written at the top. And the answer is 5 moles. Now, that wasn't too bad, was it? Let's see if we can try a harder one. How many moles are there in 88 grams of carbon dioxide? Again, our formula moles is equal to mass over molecular mass. So the mass is 88 grams. And the MR is going to be 12 plus 16 plus 16 because there's one carbon and two oxygens. And the final answer is two moles. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.